Hi, I'm Jim Schull, Chief Information Officer here at the Harris County Department of Education. And I'm coming to you from the Tech Services Help Desk area to talk to you about our new web network product, the cloud.hcd-texas.org. And it's going to allow you to access your information, your rich resources from our network through your smartphone, your pad device, or your computer. So we are going to come to you uh, with this training and hopefully you can find this to be a great tool in your repertoire to meet uh, your needs. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Hello and welcome. This is HCDE Cloud Training. You can access the Harris County Department of Education Cloud anywhere in the world as long as you have a browser, an internet browser that is, and an internet connection of course. So what we're going to do in this training is give you a brief overview and show you how to connect to the Harris County Department of Education's cloud network. So the first thing we do is enter the correct URL. The URL for the cloud is cloud.hcde-texas.org. When you first enter that URL, the screen will come up and on the right hand side you see login and on the left hand side you see system check. The first time you log in to a new computer you need to run a system check. This will check to make sure your browser is compatible and that it has all the proper plugins. If it asks you to install anything, please do so. Now we're going to enter in our HCDE user ID and password. This is the same user ID and password you get your email with or log on to the network. This is the screen that you first see. Now, some of these uh, applications here at the top are stuff that, uh, that are recent links that you're not going to see for the first time. At the bottom down here are Open Applications, Lock, Settings, and Log Out. At the top we have the home page which we're on, account page or screen, and applications. And here is the application screen. These uh, applications are specific to your division. First one I want to show you that everyone uses here is Outlook. You just click on Outlook and for the very first time you might get some uh, prompts to install certain things just click next and follow all the prompts it's very simple but you notice that it's just like uh, on your desktop you can see your inbox your contacts everything when you log out you need to click the small X that is below the big X never click on the big X we can also use uh, any Microsoft Office application for example, Word. Here you can open up files from your H drive or home directory, edit them, do what you need to do, save them back to your H drive, also known as your home directory. You can also create new files. For example, this is a new file or document. And then you can save that document or file to your H drive. When we exit Word or any Microsoft application, I always click on the small X beneath the big X. Next I'm going to go over to the account and show you some things over here. Well that's the uh, FAQ and the manual, but what I want to show you is my files section. You click on my files. And it will show you all the files you have on your home directory or any map drives that you have. For example, this is my H drive or home directory. 
and you can see I have various files. The file I just saved out there in the from the Word document, it is there and you can double click on it and it will open that file up for additional editing. So here's the document earlier and we click the small x again to log out of Word. From the My Files section, you can upload files and download files. That is, download a file to your desktop if you wanted to edit it on your desktop. And then you can open the folder that it was saved in. And you could edit this document. We're not going to actually do it here, but if you did want to edit it, you could. And then you can upload it by simply dragging and dropping it over in the File Upload section. And since that document already exists, it's going to prompt you if you want to replace it or rename it. We're simply replacing it. And the file has been uploaded. Next, we're going to show you a personal RDP. What that is, that's a remote desktop connection. Previously, I had set my computer up, my desktop computer up, so that I could remote into it. And I'll explain how to do that here shortly. But you just click on RDP, it finds your existing setup, and it'll take you to your desktop. So this is all the files that I have open on my desktop. I can, I can edit them, I can shut them down, I can save things. It's just like a VPN connection to your desktop. And when you want to get out of it, you simply disconnect. Now again, previously, I had logged in and set up my personal RDP. The way you do that is go to your desktop machine, that's the one in your office, and you click on personal RDP. There will be an option that says register this machine. You simply click on the button and it is registered. You can also set up your favorites. These will appear on your home page. This is very simple. You just click on whatever applications that you have access to that you see there that you want appearing on your home page. That is the page that you log in when you first log in that you see. Remember on the application screen you will see applications that are specific to your division. For example the travel management system. and you can log into the travel management system and input your time and expenses as needed. Again, here are the screens for the HCDE cloud. You have applications, account, and home. To log out, you simply click down here, or you can click the big red X that will log you out. You can also access the cloud using your iPad. First, you will need to download a free application from the Apple Store called WebRDP. That's W-E-B-R-D-P. It is a free application application by a company called Stoneware, and all you need to do is just download that application. So once that's downloaded, you will then log into the system using your Harris County user ID and password. You do not need to perform a system check when on the iPad. Once you've logged in, you can see it's very similar to the desktop. You just use your finger to swipe from screen to screen. Alright, well you guys have a great day and happy computing!